All right, so I'm doing a comparison of my horns. This is my gold P. Moriart influence, gold plated. <laughs> play that same passage on my influence on lacquer so they just have a different thing this has a little bit different type of thing it's a little bit rich and robust it has more of a traditional sound to me um like I'll play something I guess this traditional and then I'll do that on the gold when you hear the difference. Gold one cuts through for contemporary. I think this is more what I need and want for traditional. Check this out. Okay. Now we're going to do the same passage on the gold one. So you can just hear the difference. Alright, this is my Pete Mori, I go lacquer. So, I mean, I guess biggest thing I'm saying, oh, and of course I'm playing on my mantra, <laughs> Theo Wani mantra mouthpiece, which I can't live without. But, um, and just have two different type of vibes, but I love the influence. Um, as you can notice also, or see, the influence on both horns, they have no pearls. I love that because I have to worry about pearls popping out, and they really grip my fingers, and it's an incredible horn. I like the two different sounds, but, you know, as you can see as well, no pearls. So, uh, as you would say, and as Alex Shai would say, go for the sound, P. Moria. And also, Theo Wane, uh, mouthpieces, playing the mantra, as you can see, mouthpiece. I have the enlightened ligature, um, that's just on there for, um, I don't like the one that's made onto the mouthpiece. I like the, the you know, be able to move the ligature. Um, I'm waiting to get some more Legere synthetic reeds. I love my Legere synthetic. I just ran out for tenor. Um, they just really have a rich, robust sound. It would actually be bigger and richer with that. But um, So, yeah. Check out the Pete Moriart influence. Take care.